happy birthday to Meg from England. It's her 17th birthday today. I look rather horrible. I'm in another mirror right now, but I look really horrible. I'm wearing this shirt that I slept in last night and my hair is all up and stuff. But guys, like we're making dinner right now and I haven't vlogged, but I really just wanted to like say happy birthday to Meg. Whoa, I'm blurry and it's another time of the day, but I'm in the same spot. So I pretty much looked horrible all day, but this is for Meg, my best English British friend. Hold on, I need my hat. Meg, um, ever since I've known you, you've just been like this. Like, two peas in a pot. I cannot, oh, there we go, like this. Okay, we've been just, like, best buds. Basically, Meg turned 17, and I met her on YouTube uh, over two years ago. I'm not really sure exactly when. I honestly can't remember. I just know that at some point we were like, best buds and she was always super positive kind and I thought you know her work is amazing and, and she does all this video and music video and I'm like inspired by her and she was quite well known on YouTube compared to me and um, I just remember just really being fascinated by her work and then by discovering her she discovered me somehow somewhere that happened and she was actually responsive and you know would like be really encouraging and kind to my work and tell me like your work's awesome and she always thought I was better and I always thought she was better and so we kind of just had that going on for ourselves and then we messaged each other on YouTube here and there I think I would message her or I don't know who started it but um, I know I tend to message a lot of people so sent her a message um, here and there about whatever we were talking about and then we talked about collabing well the collab never happened because we both got just kind of busy, never had an idea, so um, we never prepared anything, and I honestly couldn't think of anything, so it was kind of hard for us, and then I got fascinated by England, and that's when it occurred to me that, um, I forget how or what, it made me think, wait a minute, where is she from? Realizing that she did indeed have a different accent on her videos that she would talk on, but I guess I just, it went over my head. <laughs> um, so that's when I checked her YouTube one day and I was like it does say United Kingdom and so at this point I'm more aware of where United Kingdom is and what's going on and the accents that people will have over there um, the different ones so then that's when I sent her a message on her Facebook like page her video page and I had asked her like hey what part of the UK are you from I was planning to visit there and then her reply immediately was oh my god are you serious this like made my life and so ever since then we just started to talk and talk and talk realizing like if I'm gonna visit you know like maybe I could visit you and so ever since then um, we just really started to really communicate and actually speak about meeting someday so during that time though she started to mention that she might actually have an LA trip uh, in February, March, just originally she thought it was March, and I was like, really? So she said, yeah, she's going to keep me updated, and long story short, she did end up in California, and she went to LA, and we set it all up enough, um, as best as we could to get each other at the same place at the same time, so she kept me updated, and I drove down there, and I like begged my mom for the car, and I was like, I'm willing to pay anything it takes, mom, I need to go meet Meg. So I made my way to LA and I met her there and yeah, it was awesome meeting her and at this point I thought maybe I wasn't going to go to England yet, that I would hold it off until another time and suddenly I had new goals and new dreams in my life for that year and that I was okay with postponing my England trip and after meeting her and also meeting her friend Jake and just kind of getting to know them and how they speak and how they communicate, like after that I realized that I wanted to be one of those foreign person who comes to another country and experiences it and that I also wanted to, you know, see them again. It was so sad to see them leave and I'm just like, no, come back. <laughs> and I just had a blast. I had an absolutely amazing time getting to know them, um, communicating with them, sharing our accents, laughing at different sort of jokes and whatnot. And I knew that I really truly desired to, uh, go and visit them again and I would pay for that. So um, that's what kind of just 
you know, lit the fire inside of me all over again, and my dream for England came right back like it never left, and now I've already bought a ticket, and I'm going to be going July 5th and arriving July 6th. So that's the excitingness, and um, basically what I'm saying is happy birthday to Meg, who has become one of my very, very best friends, and now she's 17. Her birthday is not today anymore because she's ahead in time, so it's already, um, <laughs> it's already April 13th over there but it's still April 12th here, so uh, I just want to make sure it was in my April 12th video just to say happy birthday, Meg. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> just kidding. Happy birthday, Meg. I love you and I hope to see you soon. I'll give you your second gift. I have another gift I've yet to send and I'm going to give you your second gift uh, July 6th. Uh, you can pick it up at the airport. <laughs> it's a person. Hint, hint. <laughs>